Let's take a look at some of the U.S. market uh, trend uh, as of last night. Uh, this is the S&P 500. If you look at uh, uh, the technology software infrastructure, especially Microsoft was up uh, by 0.28% as compared to other peers uh, like uh, Oracle up by Oracle up by 0.45% uh, and also uh, Adobe up by 0.69% as of last night at S&P 500. It's quite uh, uh, promising in that sense for this uh, sector. But however, for semiconductor, NVIDIA uh, was down by 1.71% as compared to other fears. Broadcom down by 5.46% uh, and also Texas uh, Instruments Incorporated down by 1.05%. If you look at NVIDIA and also other company, I want to show uh, Google basically. Uh, Google uh, is quite uh, neutral in that sense, uh, uh, down by 0.40%. NVIDIA and Google is very important because if you are a Chromebook uh, owner and you want to take your gaming prowess to the next level, then you'll be thrilled to hear that Google and also NVIDIA's latest team up. Both companies basically are working together to uh, offer eligible Chromebooks a three-month trial of NVIDIA GeForce Now for free which is available to access right now via the Chromebook uh, Perks website as reported by the 9to5 uh, Google. Not only that, but you will also be treated by the GeForce Now priority tier, which is usually cost about £9 uh, a month. This tier comes with priority to access the premium service with reduced waiting times. And we, uh, we don't know when this offer will end, but Google has clarified that this is a limited time on the perk. It's also worth uh, noting that your subscription will automatically roll over at the end of your free period unless the subscription is cancelled beforehand. And of course, that is because uh, that is uh, basically pushing the price and also uh, uh, influencing the price of NVIDIA and also Google. Meta, as of this morning, basically uh, up by 1.7%. Uh, uh, and also uh, Apple, of course, Apple. Uh, where is Apple? Let me... <coughs> Apple is basically green today, up by 0.85% uh, as of uh, this morning. And Apple, of course, there's a lot of news uh, coming uh, in from Apple. Apple's annual fall event, of course, takes place uh, on Tuesday, September 12th, when it is uh, expected to unveil the new iPhone 15 and also iPhone 15 Pro lineup and Apple Watch Series 9 and a second-generation Apple Watch Ultra. It may also make some additional new products available, but there are uh, a handful of rumored upcoming devices that uh, uh, that we expect, you know, will not be making appearance uh, this month. Some of the products that Apple is unlikely to announce in September, rather uh, later in the year or in 2024 and beyond, which is the first one is the M3 powered Macs. Apple is developing uh, new Macs powered by the company's next generation M3 chip which is built on chip-making partner TSMC's 3-nanometer uh, process resulting in significant performance and power efficiency improvements over the 5-nanometer-based M2 chip and, uh, that Apple's uh, most recent Mac models are based on. According to uh, Bloomberg reporter, of course, Mark Garman's uh, sources, given that Apple launched new 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models in January, and more recently, new 15-inch MacBook Air, MacBook Studio, and also Mac Pro models in June. German believes that first beneficiaries of the new M3 chip will be the next 24-inch iMac and 13-inch MacBook Air, and also 13-inch MacBook Pro. And also new iPads. Of course, Apple is, is expected to release new M3 powered iPad Pro models with OLED displays and a de redesigned uh, Magic Keyboard accessory, but these devices are not expected to be debut until the spring of early summer of 2024. And of, of course, the Vision Pro has said, Vision uh, Pro marks the company's first entrance into a new product category since 2015, Apple Watch, with a so-called special uh, computing device announced at the WWDC 2023 in June. According to Apple, the Vision Pro will go on sale in early 2024, which likely means January to late April with an outside chance of it arriving in May. And of course, other uh, market as well, under the, um, under, uh, under, uh, the automotive, Tesla is down by 5.06% down by as compared to other uh, uh, peers as well. Amazon up by 0.08%. Let's look at uh, Tesla's 5.06%. Tesla, basically US automaker Tesla sold 
Around 84,000 uh, China-made electric vehicles, EVs, in August alone, uh, a basically 9.3% rise from a year earlier. This data is from China uh, Passenger Car Association, CPCA, and also showed uh, uh, last Monday sales of China-made Model 3 and Model Y uh, cars rose 30.9% from a month earlier. And of course, Chinese rival BYD uh, with its dynasty and also Ocean series of EVs and petrol electric hybrid models recorded deliveries of uh, 274,000 86 passenger vehicles in August alone and jumped of 57.5%. Of course, BYD is recorded uh, almost 200% uh, of uh, revenue as of this quarter. This is basically about uh, S&P 500 as of today. Meta, as, uh, as I said just now, Meta basically up by 0.17% as of last night. Uh, the uh, stocks and a new report suggest that the company may uh, move to a subscription model in Europe to avoid the EU uh, entangle, uh, entanglements around advertising and privacy, according to the New York uh, Times. At issue is how you know, your data is uh, that the region is transferred to the US and where Meta is based and also then how the data is framed out to advertisers according uh, to some of the reports. And most of us already know how this works. It's not magic at all and no one is listening to your conversations through a webcam webcam it's much more basic than that when you are on Facebook and you click a sponsored ad meta records that interaction and in the split second and start sending you more advertisement along those lines the question those EU regulators keep asking over and over again is whether this type of tracking is really legit and even more importantly of it violates some of the uh, laws uh, in Europe, especially for Meta. It doesn't really matter how they define privacy in light of uh, this advertising model. The laws exist. The EU has fined Meta for data protection violations before, and the fact that the social media giant is even considering a work around says something about whether the fines are making them nervous. Basically, that's about uh, S&P 500. There's a lot to catch up, uh, the uh, drug manufacturing is quite uh, green in that sense, up by 0.53% for Lee and Lily and also other peers. And this is about uh, S&P 500. And uh, uh, that's uh, about the uh, US market and also the uh, Asia market basically recording quite uh, neutral uh, in that sense as of this morning. Of course, this is much in, uh, uh, being uh, influenced by the US market. Uh, overnight and of course the uh, Negawani will take a look at this and we will put it up on our website astrawani.com uh, we're gonna go for a short break we're gonna come back after this